Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm bringing back a series you all seem to love. So in today's episode of Dear I'm GY C++ Tutorials, I'll show you a powerful technique for converting fonts to byte arrays and then loading them directly from memory. This is perfect for embedding fonts directly into your application without needing external files. So make sure to stick around till the end and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the like button, of course. Alright, so it's better to load fonts from memory rather than from a file because it makes your application much more compact and it gives the user a much better experience. They won't have to download anything or install anything and when I say anything I'm meaning the font. They won't have to deal with them because they will already be in your application. So, in order to do this thing and include it in your application, we first need to export your desired font as a C array of bytes. In order to do this, you're going to use an app like X, uh, hash XD. There are other apps there, but I'm going to use this one to show you. So after you install this, I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can get it. Get your TTF or OTF file, your font. I'm going to use super pixel font for this. Um, for this video and all you have to do is going to drag it into HXD. It's going to look like this. It might look complicated, but really we don't need to deal with anything of this here. All we have to do is go to file, export and then C. This is C or C array. I'm going to place it in desktop here and we're going to leave the file name superpixel.c. Anyways, we're going to save it. And as you can see here, we now have a file named superpixel.c. We can open this with notepad if you want to see the bytes. And this is how your font is going to look inside your application. It's going to be very big. So I suggest you create a file separately for it. We don't need HXD anymore. So we can close this. We only need this. So now let's go into our project here and we can create a new file, a new header file for our font. So let's go new item and let's say here myfont.h or HPP doesn't really matter. Let's say myfont.h. We're going to leave the pragma ones here because it's a header file. And after that, we're going to make a char with our font. So we're going to go something like unsigned char. And we're going to name it super pixel or whatever you want the font to be named. And then we're going to paste the data here. So make sure to close it here at the end. And let's paste the data. You could just copy this here, but it might be some weird conversion somewhere along the way. So better just leave it without any size here. And we're going to copy everything of this, every, every, every byte. You're going to copy it and you're going to paste it into your chart here. The error should go away once you have filled with some bytes. And then one more thing you have to do in this file. After this, you're going to go and create an int variable int and let's say super pixel size or your font size will be equal to size of and then super pixel so that we know the size of the font when we need it. After this, it's pretty easy and straightforward. We're going to go to main.cpp. Okay, so the first thing we have to do now is include our file where we place our bytes for the font. So include and we named it myfont.h like this. After we've done that, let's go inside our main. Uh, usually IMGY will have a comment for a good place to load your fonts, but you can do it anywhere as long as you are outside of the main loop. You should not load fonts inside the loop they will load and lag and nothing will work so here is the best place inside the main but before the while loop 
first thing we have to do is set up the config for <coughs> our um, font. So we're gonna go I'm font config. Uh, let's name it font underscore config. You can name it however you want. These are variables. And then font underscore config dot and we're gonna type font data owned by atlas and we're gonna set this to false why because we want to handle the memory ourselves i won't get into details right now i'll just show you the simple way to get this done as i usually do with these tutorials anyways after we've done this it's pretty simple we're gonna go ahead and load our font as well so we've created a config and now we're gonna add the font pretty straightforward io that font and we're going to use the function add font from and here you can see more options usually you would do it with the file but as we are teaching in this video we're going to add them from memory which is more more compact way anyways add font from memory ttf you're going to select this now you're going to type here the name of the variable with the bytes that you have in the other file so super pixel then you're going to type the size of that variable, so super pixel size. You can also get the size here if you want. Uh, you don't need to get it here, but it doesn't really matter. You could just type size of super pixel directly here. Uh, it's your choice of coding anyways. After that, we need to type the size in pixels. This really depends on the, fo uh, on the font. We're going to go with something like... 16 and uh, this is the float by the way so 16.0 f you can change this according to your needs and how big you want it how small you want it etc 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 and after that for the final thing we're gonna go here and type font config or whatever you named your variable here after you've done this the font is loaded and all you have to do is push that font so this is extremely easy as you can see if i load the um, application right now the hello world will be oh actually it will be in our font because uh, if we load any font it will overwrite seems like the um, the default font but if you'd want to use more fonts and would like to use them in certain areas um, you're gonna use a function called imgy push font with this you're gonna push a font so let's say I want to push the font here it's gonna ask which font blah blah you're gonna type the um, the font here super pixel and um, after you've done that you also need to pop the font so after you want it to end and uh, not use it anymore go back to the, the default font you're gonna say i'm gy pop font like this so you push the font here super pixel whatever the font you've created here and then you pop it here and this way only hello world will be in the font you've chosen so by doing this you can have many many fonts in the same way you can make separate files for it or not you can place it in this file as you can see this one has 5000 lines 5500 actually and you can place more fonts here and then just go to main uh create a config like you did for this one font config one two three whatever you can have a thousand fonts set uh, the data owned by atlas to false for all of them and then just add them one by one as uh, I wanted to tell you, and as I told you before, you can change the size in pixels. So let's, by example, make 50. And if we do that, you're gonna see very fast that the size actually changed and uh, it's much bigger now. So anyways, we don't need that. We're gonna leave it to 16 because it looked all right. And uh, yeah, you can use after that push font and pop font to change your fonts in the application and make it look amazing. So, thank you guys for watching, I hope you liked the video, I hope you understood now how to use custom fonts, and obviously join the Discord server and show me some of your creations, I'd love to see them, 
So thank you so much again. Subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one.